previously on Lost. The French woman who was in the distress call, her name is Danielle, and uh, she's got like the bed hooked up to like a big ass frickin' battery that the raft that Michael was building is now on fire. Uh, back on the beach, Michael had decided that he was going to build another raft. And um, Jin actually goes off to help him. Um, Boone and Locke are trying to figure out how to open the hatch. This video is Lost Part 17. It is an episode about Hurley. And it is the episode entitled Numbers. Okay, at the very beginning of the episode, Hurley is helping Jin and Michael build the raft. And Jack comes along. See him in the background? Um, comes along and asks Michael, like, how's it going? And Michael's like, yeah, you know, it's going pretty well as long as no one burns this one down, too. He's like, but, you know, once we get out on the water, we really need some way to, like, tell ships that we're out there. I need something to send out, like, an SOS call. And Jack says, you know, I'll ask Saeed. But there's no way in the world that we can power it because we don't have any way to power whatever this device is that he might build. And her was like, didn't Saeed say that like that French chick had batteries or something like that? So they go ask Saeed to tell them where they can find Rousseau so that they can go get a battery. And Jack's like, please tell me. And he's like, no, absolutely not. And her is like, dude. He's like, okay, well, you stole all her papers, and you're trying to find out, you know, like, what they mean or whatever. And he's like, I don't even know what I'm looking at. They could be deranged ideas from her lunatic mind and whatever. Hurley picks up one of the pieces of paper. He, they're actually at Saeed's tent, and he has, like, a table there. And, like, the papers were here on the table. And Hurley picks up a piece of paper and sees that on one of the pieces of paper, Rousseau wrote down many, many times the numbers for... 8, 15, 16, 23, and 42. And in the very first flashback, you find out that Hurley used those numbers to win the lottery. So Hurley's busy celebrating that he's won the lottery, he's got all this money, but then things start happening to him. Like when the press was uh, interviewing him, you know, when he won the money, Right there in front of everyone, um, his grandfather, this is his grandfather down here, like dies from a heart attack. And then he takes his mom up here in red. He buys her a new house. But when she gets out of the car, she like breaks her ankle. And then the house like catches on fire. And so like all these bad things are happening to him. But when he goes to um, talk to his accountant about all of the the new things he's acquired with his money. As he's sitting down in the office, he looks out the window, and there's a guy that, like, jumps to his death behind his accountant. So, like, bad things are happening all around Hurley. So, in the middle of the night, Hurley goes to Saeed's tent to ask him about the papers that he saw. And he wakes Saeed up, and he's like, Hurley, this better be important. I was dreaming about Shannon. He's like, I was just wondering, dude, like... What you make out of all these, like, papers and stuff, and, like, the French chick wrote a bunch of numbers down, and what do you think about them? And he's like, I thought they were coordinates. Now I just think that they're stupid numbers. Please go and let me sleep. Well, as he leaves, um, he actually steals a piece of paper that was one of the uh, Rousseau's, the French women's notes. It was the piece of paper with all the numbers on it. He's going to set out and try and find her, because he remembers Saeed mentioning that before he found Rousseau, that there was a cable on the beach that he followed into the jungle. So the next morning, Hurley goes um, off to find Rousseau and ask her about the numbers. He travels along the beach for hours and then finds the cable um, that Saeed was talking about that runs into the jungle over this way, and he follows it in. But what he doesn't know is that Saeed and Jack and Charlie know that he's missing and basically catches on from Saeed that um, he must have taken something out of his tent and thinks they're going to go out to Rousseau. He's like, I can't believe he did this. And Jack's just like scratching his head wondering what the hell. Charlie doesn't really care because, you know, he's a heroin addict. He's like, yippee, you know, like another adventure. Okay, in another flashback, uh, Hurley decides that it's not the money that he won that is cursed. It's the numbers that he used to play them. And, like, throughout everything, people have asked him, like, where he hears the numbers. And he remembers hearing them from a guy that he knew when he was in a psychological treatment hospital or whatever, basically a loony bin. Anyways, this guy named Lenny would repeat them over and over and over and over. 4, 8, 15, 16, 23, 42. Well, 
somehow, because obviously he's out, he goes back to ask him, like, you know, are the numbers cursed really? You know, like, where do they get their power or whatever? I use them to play the lottery. And this guy's, like, freaking out, like, oh, my God, like, don't, you know, you got to get away from them. They cause bad luck, whatever. He's like, well, where did you hear them from? He's like, me and this guy I used to work with in the Navy, in the Navy? I think it's the Navy, heard them, you know, while we were out listening to long-range transmission or something like that. There was just a voice that was repeating them over and over and over and over. And you find out in another flashback, I didn't draw it, that, sorry, I did, did decide to draw it very briefly. He goes to Australia um, to find this guy, but he finds out that uh, this guy is dead. And he talks with his wife, and she's like, yeah, that guy, my husband thought the numbers were cursed, Mr. Reyes, and blah, 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 and whatever. And you find out that they were actually in an accident which, like, took her leg. So I didn't draw a leg here, but she's got, like, this peg leg. So, <laughs> wow, that actually looks kind of funny. He's like, are they really cursed? And she's like, the numbers aren't cursed. You make your own luck. Back on the island, um, Jack and Saeed and Charlie catch up with Hurley out in the jungle. And Saeed's like, Hurley, you're a very large, very stupid man. Why did you come out here by yourself? And Charlie's like, you're being a nutter. And he's like, dude, I'm finding the French chick. It ends up that the four of them get separated. There was a bridge that they had to try and cross in the jungle. And Hurley and Charlie made it across, but then the bridge broke. And so Saeed and Jack were on one side, and these two were on another. And so they're like, you know, stay there, we'll try and find a way around. So they're like out in the jungle, just kind of like wandering aimlessly. And then all of a sudden, um, someone starts shooting at them. Like, they run in, like, different directions. Like, like Tweedle Doofus and Tweedle Larger. And Hurley runs and through the jungle and then trips... And then, as soon as he gets up, who's standing in front of him but Rousseau, the French woman? And she's like, who are you? And he's like, um, dude, like, I'm a friend of Saeed's, and he says, like, shalom, or whatever he says in his language. She's, you know, got him at gunpoint, and he's like, pulls out the note that he had in his pocket of the papers that he had written, that she wrote the numbers down on. And he's like, dude, like, you got to tell me what the numbers mean. And she's like, I don't know. The numbers are what brought my team to this island and we shipwrecked. He's like, so they're cursed? And she's like, yes, I guess they are cursed. If they brought you here too. And so all of a sudden he's like, you know, like, dude, thank you, thank you, thank you. And then he like hugs her and like almost suffocates her because he's really, really big. Elsewhere in a different part of the jungle, Charlie eventually catch catches up to Jack and Saeed. And Saeed's like, Charlie, why are you running around the jungle by yourself? Where's Hurley? And he's like, you know, we were shot at, and I ran one way, and he ran the other way, and, and I just lost him, because, you know, he's a nutter. Suddenly, Hurley shows up, and Saeed's like, Hurley, thank God you're alive. Please, stand in front of us. That way, when we walk through the jungle, nothing will hit us. No, he doesn't say that. But anyways, he's like, um, I found the French chick, dude, and, like, she gave me a battery, dude. <laughs> He has a battery because uh, he and Russo, like, bonded over the numbers or something, right? And gives it to Saeed, and Saeed can now make his distress beacon to give to Jack, to give to Michael, to take on the raft. Remember the hatch that Locke and Boone uncovered in the jungle? Amongst the other things they uncovered in the jungle? Each other? Whatever. The very last scene is that it zooms in on that, because they've been excavating it, so it's kind of like they've dug this... It's kind of like sticking out of the ground now. Anyways, it zooms in, and on the side of the hatch are the numbers. 4, 8, 15, 16, 23, and 42. Coincidence? Hmm. Anyways, and that's how the episode ends.